Corpus Hermeticum. The Book 12. His Crater or Monas. 1. The workman made this universal world, not with his hands, but his word. 2. Therefore then think of him, as present everywhere, and being always, and making all things, and one above, that by his will has framed the things that are. 3. For that is his body, not tangible, nor visible, nor measurable, nor extensible, nor like any other body. For for it is neither fire, nor water, nor air, nor wind, but all these things are of him, for being good, he has dedicated that name unto himself alone. 5. But he would also adorn the earth, but with the ornament of a divine body. 6. And he sent man an immortal and a mortal person. 7. And man had more than all living creatures, and the world, because of his speech, and mind. 8. For man became the spectator of the works of God, and wondered, and acknowledged the Maker. 9. For he divided speech among all men, but not mind, and yet he envied not any, for envy comes not towards, but is of abode here below in the souls of men, that have not the mind. 10. Tat. But Father, did not God distribute the mind to all men? 11. Because it pleased him son, to set that in the middle among all souls as a reward to strive for. 12 Tat. And where has he set it? 13 Hermes. Filling a large cup or bowl with it, he sent it down, giving also a crier or proclaimer. 14. And he commanded him to proclaim these things to the souls of men. 15. Dip and wash yourself, you that art able, in this cup or bowl, you that believes, that you shall return to him that sent this cup, you that acknowledges whereto you were made. 16. As many therefore as understood the proclamation, and were baptized or doused into the mind, these were made partakers of knowledge, and became perfect men, receiving the mind. 17. But as many as missed of the proclamation, they received speech, but not mind, being ignorant whereto they were made, or by whom. 18 But their senses are just like to brute beasts, and having their temper in anger and wrath, they do not admire the things worthy of looking on. 19 But wholly addicted to the pleasures and desires of the bodies, they believe that man was made for them. 20 But as many as partook of the gift of God, these tat, in comparison of their works, are rather immortal than mortal men. 21. Comprehending all things in their mind, which are upon the earth, which are in heaven, and if there be anything above heaven. 22. And lifting up themselves so high, they see the good, and seeing it, they account it a miserable calamity to make their abode here. 23 And despising all things bodily and unbodily, they make haste to the one and only. 24 Thus tat, is the knowledge of the mind, the beholding of divine things, and the understanding of God, the cup itself being divine. 25 Tat And I Father, 
would be baptized and drenched therein. 26 Hermes Except you first hate your body son, you cannot love yourself, but loving yourself, you shall have the mind, and having the mind, you shall also partake the knowledge or science. 27 Tat How father do you mean that? 28 Hermes Because it is impossible son, to be conversant about things mortal and divine. 29 For the things that are, being two bodies, and things incorporeal, wherein is the mortal and the divine, the election, or choice of either is left to him that will choose, for no man can choose both. 30 And of which soever the choice is made, the other being diminished or overcome, magnifies the act and operation of the other. 31 The choice of the hefter therefore is not only best for him that chooses it, by deifying a man, but it also shows reverence and religion towards God. 32 But the choice of the worst destroys a man, but brings nothing against God, save that as pomps or pageants, when they come abroad, cannot do anything themselves, but hinder, after the same manner also do these make pomps or pageants in the world, being seduced by the pleasures of the body. 33 These things being so tat, that things have been, and are so plenteously ministered to us from God, let them proceed also from us, without any scarcity or sparing. 34 For God is innocent or guiltless, but we are the causes of evil, preferring them before the good. 35 You see son, how many bodies we must go beyond, and how many choirs of demons, and what continuity and courses of stars, that we may make haste to the one, and only God. 36 For the good is not to be transcended, it is unbounded and infinite, unto itself without beginning, but unto us, seeming to have a beginning, even our knowledge of it. 37 For our knowledge is not the beginning of it, but shows us the beginning of its being known to us. 38. Let us therefore lay hold of the beginning and we shall quickly go through all things. 39. It is indeed a difficult thing, to leave those things that are accustomable, and present, and turn us to those things that are ancient, and according to the original. 40. For these things that appear, delight us, but make the things that appear not, hard to believe, or the things that appear not, are hard to believe. For I the things most apparent are evil, but the good is secret, or hid in, or to the things that appear for it has neither form nor figure. 42. For this cause it is like to itself, but unlike everything else, for it is impossible, that anything incorporeal, should be made known, or appear to a body. 43. For this is the difference between the like and the unlike, and the unlike wants always somewhat of the like. 44. For the unity, beginning, and root of all things, as being the root and beginning. 45 Nothing is without a beginning, but the beginning is of nothing, but of itself, for it is the beginning of all other things. 46 Therefore it is, seeing it is not from another beginning. 47 Unity therefore being the beginning, contains every number, but itself is contained of none, 
and begets every number, itself being begotten of no other number. 48 Everything that is begotten is imperfect, and may be divided, increased, diminished. 49 But to the perfect, there happens none of these. 50 And that which is increased, is increased by unity, but is consumed and vanished through weakness, being not able to receive the unity. 51 This image of God, have I described to you Tad, as well as I could, which if you do diligently consider, and view by the eyes of your mind, and heart, believe me, son, you shall find the way to the things above, or rather the image itself will lead you. 52 But the spectacle or sight, has this peculiar and proper, them that can see, and behold it, it holds fast and draws to it, as they say, the lodestone draws iron.